In May 2016, the actress Amber Heard appeared at a Los Angeles court asking for a restraining order against her husband, the Hollywood star Johnny Depp. The case that involved both actors continued throughout the years, and the entire situation got complicated, as, according to a lot of reports, Amber was actually guilty and turned the whole situation to her advantage. Let's go into the case and see what actually happened between the two actors. A restraining order. On the day Amber left the Los Angeles court, a lot of journalists appeared to ask her about the issue. A mark on her cheek was visible, and the court also gave photographs of what looked like facial bruising. According to Amber, Depp had violently attacked her in a storm rage, and as she said, he threw a mobile phone at her face with, quote, extreme force. She also said she had been through, quote, excessive emotional, verbal, and physical abuse, and, quote, angry, hostile, humiliating, and threatening assaults. The restraining order was given, and their marriage was over. But according to Depp, Amber lied about the abuse. The Sun Case Now let's talk about the Sun Case. Four years after Amber asked for the restraining order, the couple went back to court. Only this time, the British newspaper The Sun was involved. As it looks like, Depp sued the newspaper with his statement that the charges of physical abuse were an elaborate hoax. Depp employed one of the most famous libel lawyers in the country to defend himself. The Sun had claimed in April 2018 that Depp is a wife-beater. Throughout the three weeks that followed, Depp's fans appeared and claimed that the popular actor is not guilty, and according to them, Amber was lying and trying to destroy Depp. When the judge ruled that the Sun's allegations were substantially true, Depp was obviously disappointed, and Amber seemingly succeeded. The Case Inside the High Court, it was even more extreme. Heard took the stand for the son. She has sued Depp for regularly beating her in drug-induced rages even before they married in 2015, until they began divorce procedures in 2016. Their divorce was settled in 2017, following an uproar in divorce court in Los Angeles. Depp has completely denied all of her allegations, saying that she was the abuser in their brief, volatile relationship. Their marriage, he told her several times, was, quote, a crime scene waiting to happen, he declared. Depp's security chief, Sean Bett, said in a written witness report released as he appeared in court that Heard was verbally and physically abusive towards Depp throughout their relationship. It gets weirder. Isaac Baruch, an artist and longtime friend to Depp and the next-door neighbor at the couple's Los Angeles penthouse, told the court he has never seen signs of marks, scratches, swelling, or bruises on Heard's face in the days shortly after she claimed Depp beat her up in May 2016. Poop in the bed. Let's go back to April 2016, back when Depp's maid found feces in a bed at their Los Angeles penthouse the morning after Heard's 30th birthday party, when she stated that the couple argued and Depp threw a Magnum wine bottle at her. He said that was not true. Heard accused one of her two tiny Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo, for the event. Depp said it was not left by a three or four pound dog. He was convinced that it was either Heard herself or one of her friends. He also said he thought that was an oddly fitting end to the relationship. Depp's fingerprint. The accusations were really unexpected. Heard stated she had been assaulted by him on more than 14 occasions. According to her, she had been in fear for her life and left with a broken nose, black eyes, and a split lip. Vicious, drunken tirades had, she said, lasted long. But how did Depp's finger get cut off in Australia? As a portion of her list of 14 claimed cases of abuse by Depp, Heard claims Depp subjected her to, quote, a three-day ordeal of assaults in March 2015 in Australia, where Depp was shooting his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean film. Depp denied this, accu Depp denied this accusation, but admitted they had a fight which ended in their rented house being destroyed and Depp's fingertip being severed to the bone. According to Depp, this happened when Heard threw a vodka bottle at him, and according to her, she wasn't in the room at the time. Depp also admitted he used the blood from the severed finger to paint messages on a mirror. The Audio Confession So, here's the plot twist. Amber Heard practically admitted to hitting Johnny Depp in a critical audio statement from 2015, obtained only by DailyMail.com. 
As the couple decided to talk about their marriage difficulties, Heard can be heard how she opens up about her intense scenes in a series of tape recorded talks. Quote, Baby, I told you this once. I'm scared to death we're in a, we are a crime scene right now, Depp told his wife. She said, I was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. The two-hour therapy session is recorded consensually on Hurd's phone. Depp showed images of his own hurt and beaten face following Hurd's alleged attacks. Is Hurd lying? Is Johnny lying? Desperate for fame. From a text message that Depp sent to his doctors after the Australia fight, Depp called Heard malicious, evil, and vindictive. He also said she was desperate for fame, and according to him, she married him with this in her mind. He claimed he believes Heard made up fake allegations against him as an insurance policy. Quote, Hoax is probably the best word one could use, because the allegations, all the allegations, are patently untrue, Depp claimed. It appears to me that Ms. Hurt was building a dossier very early on that appears to be an insurance policy for later. Depp also testified that the big battle with Hurt on her birthday in Los Angeles came hours after he was told his former business managers had escaped with hundreds of millions of dollars. Pirates of the Caribbean Walt Disney has allegedly asked Johnny Depp back for the role of Captain Jack Sparrow in the very anticipated Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. The question is, would he agree to take on the role? At the end of the dramatic case with Johnny and the Sun trial from 2020, it is now apparent to see that Johnny Depp was the victim, and now big studios are again interested in him. However, no one forgets how the company threw him out of the cast of the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot starring Margot Robbie. From what is now released, Christina Hansen was hired to write the story for Pirate 6. According to Margot Robbie, Pirate 6 is a very political story, and as she claimed, the movie is all about girl power. Amber will face jail? As we said, the end of the case is near, and according to many people, Amber will probably go to jail. Depp simply did everything to prove he was not the abuser, and as it looks like, he succeeded. And Heard could be facing not just millions of dollars in this case, but also three years in jail. We also need to mention that authorities at the Seattle-Tacoma International Airport in Washington State confirmed to U.S. Today that Heard was arrested by Port of Seattle Police on September 14, 2009, according to SeaTac spokesman Perry Cooper. Heard and her then-girlfriend, artist-photographer Tasia Van Rie, got into a fracas at the airport after Heard allegedly grabbed and struck Van Rie's arm. While there's nothing confirmed yet, Heard's allegations against Depp were enough to destroy or at least damaged Depp's name and acting career. The story also almost crashed the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie. But since the audio leak, the whole world is on Depp's side. People all over the world are creating a petition to have him return to Disney as Captain Jack Sparrow and for Warner Brothers to take him back, but also to fire Heard in the same way Disney fired Depp. What do you think about this case? Do you think Heard will be sent to jail? Do you think Johnny Depp is actually harmless? You can tell us what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching, guys.